What's up everyone? Today I stopped at my local comic shop and picked this up. This is the Play Arts Kai um, Batman Arkham City The Dark Knight Returns skin figure. Now they call it the skin. Because you know, it is one of the skins in the game because this is still underneath the Batman Arkham City line. Um, I love this new box look. I love the white, the red, the black. You know, the black and white picture. It looks really nice. Um, it's all white around. You know, got some shit in the back. Got some Hindu down here. And yes, I know it, it's it's Japanese. Nobody has to correct me. It, it was a joke. I know it's not funny, but you know, try to have a sense of humor. Um, inside opens up. It's got a nice clamshell in there with all the goodies. Um, Batman, Dark Knight Returns skin. A Batman resurrected by rage after supposedly retiring 10 years ago. Bruce Wayne has finally been pushed to don the cowl of Batman once again by the anguish from his parents' murder and his rage against the evil running rampant in Gotham City. Though he has maintained his physical condition very well over 55 years old, Hero is still in for a harsh uphill battle. Even in his old age, he fights on. And then it says some shit about Arkham City, but whatever. Um, yeah, really nice. I like it. But, enough with the box. And there goes the figure. I love it. That's all I gotta say. I love it. Because I love this story. It's one of my favorite Batman stories. Besides, uh, The Killing Joke. And, The Long Halloween. And, uh, I don't know. Like, almost every Batman story I love. Uh, I'm a huge Batman fan. I love Batman. Batman's the best. Batman could beat anybody. Hands down. No doubt about it. He's too smart for anybody. <clears throat> but, um... Oh, where to start? Where to start? I will start on the articulation. Alright, you got his head. Got the ball joint, nice moving up and down range. You got the pivot in the neck. It's just pretty much like if you got the uh, other Batman figure in this line. Um, the shoulders, you know, all the arms up and down. They do, if you lift up the thing, it's still got that pop-out joint. Got a uh, cut on the bicep. Got a single jointed elbow. It's got like a ball joint, but it has like almost like a double joint range. It's got a nice ratchet it too. It's kind of like some Rebel Tech shit, you know? Um, got the ball at the wrist too, you know? All types of wrist, limp wrist movement there, but it's all ratchety. Um, upper ab. Uh, it's got lower waist. Yeah, it's kind of hard to move. This is his, um,. His underwears are still all rubber, but unlike the other figure, both sides go over the legs. On all the other Batman figures I've seen, one side would be over the leg and the other side would be caught on the leg. It wouldn't look natural. This, they fixed that with this. Um, the detail on the belt is great. Um, the legs move out with a nice ratchet. They move back and forward with a nice ratchet, and then they got a twist. Um, got the double jointed knee, which looks a lot better than the old joints. They don't look as bad, but it's still kind of funny. You got the ball jointed ankle with nice ratchet and then twist. And then these figures, I don't know if they just started on this figure, but I know Batman, Harley Quinn, and Joker did not have this. Um, it's a boot cut where it swivels, which is kind of nice. For that wide legged pose, you got the ankle, plus you can move the boot just a little bit. And it'll still look natural. Um, the cape does not come off. It's not two-piece. There's no uh, movement or nothing like that. It's just nice... Good old fashioned heavy ass rubber that does nothing but hang. And it kind of holds them up too a little bit. Because it's, I mean, even though it's rubbery, it's still kind of stiff. That's what she said. Um, He comes with a couple sets of hands. This is like the coolest Batman hand I've ever seen because I don't ever remember any other figure having this, but he's actually holding his batarangs between his fingers. Like a focus in there, which looks really nice. Because he does that a lot when he throws them, like, three or four at a time. Um, he comes with an open hand on this side. Well, when he first comes... Ah, Batman, stand up. When he first comes, he has, um... comes with two fists. Two closed fists, and then he has another open hand for this side. Because he comes with this. His bat grapple. Or whatever. Um, it is made out of a really, really soft rubber, which feels nice. It actually kind of feels like rope a little bit, too. It feels like rope that was encased in rubber. That's what it kind of feels like. But it's not. It's just rubber. It does not unwind. He holds it in both hands. That's what this hand is for. 
and they give you instructions to show you how to do this because you know some dummy out there might think you can hold the rope with two closed fists I don't know I wouldn't be surprised um, even though that the rope is rubber this is a hard plastic so you don't gotta worry about this all being floppity and bendy it is uh, attached it goes over the plastic slightly I'm sure if you pull on it enough it'll pop off and I'm sure it's glued but whatever um the paint detail on this figure is great the shadowing like in the cape and everything the lighter and the darker it looks worn you can see all the creases it looks it looks like it's like a really nice leather it, it just looks really great um his forearms are kind of funny if you put it like this way they look kind of thin but this way you know it looks normal they kind of sink in I like how uh his whatever you want to call those spiky things on his arms look or they're like really thick uh, I just like the way that looks all the shadow shading and stuff in his muscles all looks great this is like a really if you are a fan of the Dark Knight Returns this is a must figure to get and it's kind of weird though that the boot the front of the boot I can show it in the light is different it's a, like a lighter blue and this is kind of like a darker black. This and this match where this is slightly different. I mean it's got the light blue back here. I don't know like why they did that. But I mean it's not too bad. It's whatever. And another thing I don't like about the one. One thing I really don't like. It's not that I don't like but I wish they would have just not have done it. Is they gave him eyeballs. I don't like Batman with eyeballs. I like them with the white eyes. I don't know if you can see that, but they look really nice, though. I mean, they look really, really, really badass, though. I mean, it's nice, but I kind of wish they didn't. I mean, his skin looks great on camera. It looks like he's been eating a bunch of tacos and just let the grease run down his face. But in person, it looks you know, like old and grungy and nice, I guess, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's just, just a badass figure. I think this is the best Play Arts Kai Batman that they've released so far. I really do. I like how he doesn't have the tall ears, he got the short ears. Just a really, really nice figure. If you're a Batman fan, I definitely get this figure. It's great. Um, one problem I did have with my figure is when I tried to move the arm out with this joint, the whole arm popped off and it was not a big deal. They just didn't use enough glue where the um, piece of plastic goes in. So I just, you know, I put some super glue on it, plug it back in, and it was just great. It holds fine. You know, shit like that happens where. He either gets no glue or a hell of a lot of glue and everything's frozen. I've had that happen too. Where DC Universe figures, my waist, my ab crunch, one of my legs were totally frozen because the machine just glopped a fucking bunch of glue up on it together. Or some uh, Mexican or Chinese guy put it together just got really bad day and said fuck it and just, you know, squirted a bunch of glue on it and packaged them up. Who knows? But yeah, that is a. Uh, their Dark Knight Returns, Batman. If you have not read this story or seen the two animated movies that make the whole story, I highly recommend it. Go watch them or read the story. Just to read the story, it's better. I mean, the shows were good, but just read the story, it's better. If you don't know how to read, learn how to read, man. Take some time out. I know a lot of people don't read anymore. It's a shame. They should. Even comic books is reading, man. Take it easy.